Everybody, thank you for the new stickers. That thing's getting filled up quick, and I'm gonna have to just kind of pile the new ones on top of those, I think. I think it'll just be a living art piece. Look what Colby sent me, inanimate carbon rods. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're really cool. They feel smooth and they, they're, they're really hard. I've got a really busy time coming up. This Friday is Wyatt's graduation. So we've got some preparations for that. We've got some company coming in and I wanna get this week's project done as fast as I can. I'm making a kitty tree, a cat condo sort of thing, but I'm still designing it. I'm trying to figure out something cool, different way to do it. Oh, also, if you get a chance, check out Wyatt performing Shiksa Goddess from the last five years. If you've got a powerful connection to your firearm collection, I say, draw a beat and shoot, I'm your Hebrew slave at your service. He performed that yesterday. It's the first time I've seen him do that. Uh, it was sort of an impromptu event that they put together and it was really fun listening to him sing that. I just saw The Last Five Years last night on Netflix. It was really good. If you like musicals, check it out. Oh, another good musical to check out is Cannibal the Musical. It's by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the guys behind South Park. This was a movie they made in college, I think, like the early 90s. It's fun looking at the early ideas they had that would eventually develop in to the Book of Mormon, which I'm gonna see the Book of Mormon too this fall, we've already got our tickets. Didn't have a mere minutes last week because I was just completely worn out from making the platform bed. That was a project that it looked like it would go together pretty quickly out when I designed it in SketchUp, but wow, that was there was a lot of pieces to that, especially making the drawers. It really just, it took up a lot of time. But I love how the bed turned out and it really, I think it looks great in our room. And as far as yesterday's project, the final craft room project, the fold down table. Uh, one of the questions I asked you was what about those table leg brackets and a lot of people told me that I had those in backward that they're supposed to pull out the other way which makes sense but it, it seems like I tried that the other way and I, it, it, I couldn't get it to work either way. I really tried like a couple of hours working on those things. It was really frustrating and it, it, the, the instructions say, you know, come six and a quarter inches up the leg and six and a quarter inches over and you do that and they don't work. And that one of them is labeled left and one of them is labeled right, which is, that's meaningless. What does that mean? What side of your table is left and right? It depends upon which way you're looking at it, I guess. I had a few questions about the magnets that I used, the rare earth magnets, and if those would be strong enough. And they seem perfect perfectly strong and a couple people said that it's gonna fall apart and kill people if it falls down but it it seems when the whole table is up in the cabinet it's it kind of it goes like this it leans up the cabinet and it kind of goes back a little bit and it seems really sturdy I originally thought about putting an eye hook in there to just latch it in but it doesn't seem to need one so I'm not gonna worry about it too much and those rare earth magnets are really strong and I had a lot of people ask me to do a final tour of the craft room and my wife even suggested doing that too so I'm gonna shoot that I'll just shoot it on my phone I hope this week if I get a chance there's a really loud truck driving by oh it was a fire truck he had his lights on but there was no no siren another fire truck. We hear so many sirens now because California is so dry that there's just fires everywhere constantly. So we're always hearing the, the sirens going on. And I live in a really bad spot because I've got this open space across the street, this hill, which is just all, it's a tinder box, just, just waiting to go up in flames. Did you see my lawn mowing video? This is gonna be the new planking, or the new Harlem Shake, maybe, if everybody jumps on board and makes a lawn mowing video. It's funny because these things don't take off until three people do it. The first one was Matthias, and he posted a, a lawnmower video a long, long time ago. Well, a long time ago, I mean, a few months ago, maybe. I don't, I don't remember. And so then Jimmy Duresta posted one last week of him just just mowing his lawn. That was it. The whole video was just mowing his lawn. So then David Picciuto, the drunken woodworker, posted a third video of him 
mowing his lawn, which was kind of a parody video. And so at that point, it becomes the parody because he's parodying this second person to do it. So now it's a thing. I wanted to do something different, which is that's why I did the overly dramatic Vimeo style. And if you want to make something dramatic and really artsy, shoot it in black and white and slow motion and lots of tight close-ups. I do have a lawn in the backyard, but it's really small. I just use my, my, that same mower. I don't even go around and around and around like people do. I just kind of go back and forth <laughs> like that. But we can't really water the lawn here. I think we're on water restrictions, but I, I don't water it much anyways. Maybe once a week I'll, I'll water the lawn. So th the lawns around here are all just brown. Still planning the meetup out in Denver, Labor Day weekend, that Saturday. And I'm gonna have the meeting in Kansas City later on in September. I forget what the date of that is. So stay posted. I'll let you know what those venues are going to be. I haven't really Really had time to look into it yet and that's all I've got for this week thank you for watching mere minutes and I'll see you next week maybe next week I don't know I, I, I think we're going down to Santa Cruz next Saturday so I may not have a near mere minutes next week but I'll see you